What in this family? This is Show Far from Full Show Energy Work and Full Show Health. And I'm here to speak to you today about SEX and the spirit factor. What I want to show is the link between the two, how central emotional exchange, aka SEX, plays into us having that spirit it factor. It's something that uh, many people talk about having the it factor and everything. Uh, what is it and how to incorporate it to make your, your be able to manifest and create and stimulate what it is that you want in life to actually happen. So the first thing is, is like the spirit it factor or the it factor, I'm going to say is that it's a part of your spirit, it's part of that intangible part of your being. You can take two people who look the same, have similar builds and 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 or financial, you know, uh, way of showing up social economically, all of these different things, and yet they they hit different. And the reason being is because of an intercultivation thing. It's, it's has to do with how their the spirit has been honed, maybe in this lifetime or over time. Uh, and so it it makes their eyes and their smile, their voice, uh, both how their voice sounds and the topics of of their speech and everything just happen to have a different you know uh, you know resonation to it or a different. Uh, sound or a different way of uh, being incorporated into other people's being. And what we, you know, tend to find with that also is that many people who have that spirit it factor, they're also able to act as a catalyst. Uh, that charisma, that seductive nature that they have often catalyzes and causes other people to move. This is a function also of the heart. Uh, noticing how the word heart has heat in it, and similar to how, how heat causes things to move, causes vibration to go up, uh, alchemizes uh, things. Same thing when we when a person has that spirit it factor, many times they're able to take whatever their passion is, whatever it is that is in their heart, what they are on this planet to do, and the, through their speech, through their actions, uh, through the way they even look at another person, they're able to transfer some heat, transfer that heart energy in all things that they do. Another quality that you'll see on there is that they're able to transfer this energy, right? So it becomes kind of contagious, just like a wildfire, just how you know a little spark can burn down a whole forest. Uh, word of mouth, you know, when when person has a dope restaurant or they have some skill set or whatever, uh, you know, that quote unquote goes viral, you know, uh, these is, this is also how a person may come across with the spirit it factor is that it's contagious and it can be literally felt, it can be transferred to other people where, because like I spoke about with the heart energy, you're able to bring the vibration up of those who come in contact with what it could be through your art. Notice how the word art has, uh, the word heart has art in it. Uh, so, you know, and then I can say that the word heart also has hear and ear in it. So when people hear or see your art, uh, whatever your art is, when you have that spirit it factor, it comes across and can become contagious and actually inspire. You can cause others to spiral. You can cause others to speed up and to be more about their work. Right. So that spirit it factor is really powerful in that that is also contagious. And the spirit factor also, just so you know, it helps others. The reason why it becomes contagious is because it can induce trance. When someone has that spirit it factor, they're able to get us out of our left brain, which is the, the cognitive and computing uh, you know, logical part of our being that is needed, but the spirit it factor, the person who is generating it has this quality of being more trance-like usually, and then they're able to inspire others to go into the space too of being more right brain, creative, sensual, and uh, being able to catch those waves. And that is another key quality of the spirit it factor. And this is why I say that the spirit factor is a part of central emotional exchange, 
because those who are sensual and go deep into their sensuality, who have, have certain emotional mastery and have that exchange of the awareness with the breath, the breath of the awareness, you are able to now cultivate your own spirit it factor. And, uh, and it changes everything. It makes life more orgasmic uh, by being able to tap into the sacredness of life. We're able to be more uh, orgasmic and thus have that spirit it factor on tap. And lastly, the last quality that I'm going to speak on, on uh, today is that it's timeless. Uh, there's a big emphasis in our culture sometimes to talk about, uh, you know, being a legend. To me, that's something of the mind. But when, so, but when we are one who has a legacy, that is something that supersedes the mind. We have now been able to show up so embodied that it transcends time because Usually what happens in that instance is that we were so in the moment that we were able to leave a lasting legacy by impacting others. Whereas with a legend, you know, you may impact others, but it's not always necessarily from the, the best place. A lot of times it is from the ego, from the ego, not the ego. -go. It's not from that expanded evolution going on. Part of ourself is from that edging goodness uh, out is from evil going on that that lowercase uh, ego, and uh, we all have both of these energies in us, right? But usually, if we're leaning towards trying to be legendary and do shit, you know, leaving statues up or whatever, we're not going to have the spirit it factor uh, because we are cutting ourselves off from source, and we are very individual in our thinking and our in our self serving service to self nature as opposed to when we just have a legacy uh we're tapping into that part of us that is bigger than any of that and uh it will rip, ripple uh and send waves through time and space so another function of it uh, with the spirit factor is that with the spirit it factor is that it is uh timeless and leaves a legacy so that's it, Joe. I just wanted to go over that spirit it factor. Uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, leave some comments down below. What are some other things that you feel are part of the spirit it factor? And if you'd like to hone your own spirit it factor, uh, well, again, I am so far from social energy work. And my lady and me, we help people to do this uh, through energy work, SEX energy work. We work with couples. We also work with singles and uh so if you're binary, non-binary, we can help you out in that. Uh, I also have a book, Sacred Orgasmic Living. Uh, and lastly, we do a series of workshops, Sex to S-E-X, Sensual Emotional Exchange. Uh, so we have some coming up. You can check the links down below to see when the next one is coming up. Uh, we do at least once a quarter. Uh, and uh, if you'd like to start honing your spirit factor, check us out. Uh, again, I appreciate y'all coming through uh, and uh, keep that SEX in your life. Keep shining, keep evolving and do so exponentially. Oneness.